Happy afternoon, everyone. It's Wednesday and it's time for I Rate Your Team. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We'll jump straight into this. We've got Josh's team first. He says, hi, HABER. This is my team. I've got 120,000 coins. Tradable cards are Son, Fabinho, Varane, Longley and everything else is untradable. Any suggestions? Love the vids. Hey, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. You have an untradable mid hullet. No, I can't start the episode with an untradable mid hullet, bro. That's crazy. From the mid icon pack, I'm guessing. That's actually nuts. All right, first things first. I don't know if Dan James' objective is still there or not, but if it is, please go and get the Dan James. Please, please. It's worth it, in my opinion. Um, this team is, is genuinely really, really nice. I like this team a lot. However, I think there is room for improvement, definitely. Now, I would say first things first, I would probably swap over Fabinho and Hullet, to be honest. And, I, and the reason why I say that is because maybe swapping Fabinho and Hullet, then long lay Varane is a good play. Uh, I think that, you know, that way you've got uh, full chem on Trent and Fabinho and Varane and long lay and everyone else. Everyone gets full chemistry that way. Uh, if you swap over your two centre mids and your two centre backs. Um, I would also say with 120k, I think you could improve on Ozil. Uh, in terms of who you could get in in, instead of Ozil, I think that genuinely, I think Lucas Moura's normal card is better than Ozil. Um, it can. There's a whole lot of different players you can get, though. One thing I would do is go over to this website, Footbin, uh, go on to players, go to FIFA 20 players, um, and then select, you know, the position you want. So you want, uh, you know, a, a centre forward or a striker or a CM, CDM or CAM. Uh, you want to go to the leagues, top five leagues, Premier League. And then over here, you can change what price. So 1,000 min, 120,000 by now. Um, that is one, yeah, that's one of 20,000. And you can actually have a look at different plays in that league that you could go with. For example, 88 headliners, Deli Ali is 119k. Uh, he's, he's man of the match is decent as well. Um, this is, this is definitely a card that could potentially get an upgrade with Spurs, um, and could be a decent cam in the near future. Um, you know, alternatively, you could go center forward to striker as well. If you don't see anything of, of your fancy, you can go positions down to center forward striker, uh, and you have different options here as well. For example, you could go with the likes of, I know you wouldn't, but you could go with the likes of like an Abamian. Um, you want someone with more passing, which is why I think, you know, Wilfred Zaha or uh, or Lucas Moura are, are two decent options. I think both would not be too bad. But I think this is also a good card as well. Um, I'm pretty sure that's an SBC. I'm looking at the wrong card here. I'm looking, I want to look at, which one is it? This one. This is the one I want to look at. The the um, man of the match, Deli Ali. Uh, I'm pretty sure this would be a decent card at Cam. Uh, this card just came out. Um, how long ago? I think a week ago, I think. Uh, this card was an SBC. No, this is it. I'm getting confused which cards. This was an SBC. I don't. Was this an SBC as well? No, this wasn't an SBC. But this is. Uh, I think this card's better at centre mid. But I think this would be a decent cam. You know. Um, I don't know if Deli is going to get an upgrade in winter. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think he will. But if he, if he does, this could potentially become like an 88 or 89. Um, yeah, I think the, I think the card would be decent at cam. But I think my main my main choice. After all that waffling, would be either Lucas Moura or you could even move Son to uh, centre attack in mid and go with Gabby Jesus up top as well, the inform. Regardless, I think the team is incredible. I can't believe you packed a mid hullet, bro. That is absolutely incredible. Uh, GG. Uh, the next one coming from Robbie who says 4411, second in game. Uh, tradables are Nakata, City Golds, uh, got 50k. Well, you didn't send me a second pick, unfortunately. Um, but you've got 50,000 coins. What would I improve in this team? I would get a better left back, get Alexandro. Uh, I'd also probably uh, get Handanovic over Donnarumma. Not a big fan of Donnarumma this year. Apart from that, I'd probably keep everything else the same because it's a nice team. And I don't think you can get much of an upgrade um, elsewhere, realistically. Uh, the next one is going to come from... Is this, is this a HD? It is a HD photo. Let's go, dude. Let's go. If, I, if it'll let me get off it. I hate when it does this. How do I... Can I please... There you go. Uh, it's from Jesper. I've got 200,000 coins, but I'm willing to save. Aguero and Suzuka are the only tradable. I'm also okay with changing the formation as I struggle to find one that fits me. Let's check it out. 200,000 coins. All right, so weak link in this team, in my opinion. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I mean, Laporte's all right, but I think you could get better than Laporte. Maybe Scream after Mendy. I'm not entirely sure how much he is. Um, I think there's a good few different centre-back options now in the Prem. That you could go with though. Uh, we're already on the uh, the filters now, so we can go 1,000 coins to 200k. Have a look. Uh, what kind of options are we looking at here? I mean, Scream Otamendi is apparently a bit too expensive because he's not he's not in this uh, he's not in this boat, unfortunately. Um, but there's a few different options you could go with. For example, um, 
I'm just not a big fan of Laporte, truthfully. I think Laporte is a bit too slow. I mean, you could just add, uh, you know, Shadow, but it's going to cost you 20k to add a Shadow onto him. And then at least he gets 76 pace uh, and he gets better agility. Uh, sorry, not better agility, but better acceleration and sprint speed. Um, but in my opinion, I don't know. I, I, I haven't been a big fan of Laporte this year. A lot of you guys said he was decent, though. So I haven't tried. I've been trying to stay away from calling him bad. But yeah, that 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 is what it is. Um the rest of the team, I think, is nice. If I were you, I would try, uh, if you're looking for a different formation to, to give a go, um, you could try a, a narrow formation if you're not if it's not working wide. Um, you know, 4 one 2 one 2 narrow wouldn't be a bad shout with Dan James as a left centre mid, um, Suzuko right centre mid, Gabame as a CDM. And then what I'd do is I'd have Dan James on uh, on, on balanced uh, midfield. I'd have Suzuko get back while attacking and same with Gabame. Um, I'd have Philippe, Philippe Anson Cam uh, on stay forward with both the strikers on getting behind stay, uh, stay forward. And then at least you've got a really, really pacey left centre mid who's going to be running up and down the pitch, winning the ball back, uh, just being a total engine uh, and a really good attack it might be worth a go uh it's really good for builder play in my opinion um with 200k though what i would do with this team i would save up and get yourself a better center back at right center back um there's a whole host of different options out there it depends how, what you like in a center back me i like agile players so scream on mandy might not be a bad shout he's a, a smaller agile player as opposed to like a van dyke in my opinion but i mean you could save up for van dyke you could get like a Baby Hierro or something like that, if you want to. Um, I like the team though. I like I like uh, I like the the use of the you know the future stars and things like that. Uh, the next one is going to come from. <laughs> I, I get that. That's good. That's good. By the way, shaved the beard. I know I look a bit weird with a shaved beard, but yeah. Um, this is a good video. Thank you very much, Maz. Appreciate that. Uh, the next one coming from Sam, who says, All untradeable except Imobile, Handanovic, Felipe, Luis, 200k to spend. Baggio from mid icon pack, 4 4 1 1 in game. Ooh, Baggio from mid icon pack. Let me just have a look at this card. I'm interested to see this card. I'm always intrigued uh, at what you guys. Get. That's. Hmm. Bad stamina. That's the only thing I'd say. Bad stamina on this card. But I tell you what, that's a, I'd say that's a mini, a mini dub. Five star skills. Decent agility and balance, good pace, good dribbling, decent shooting. I think his composure, no, his composure is good. 73 shot power is not amazing, but good passing. Tell you what, that's not bad. That's not, I'd say it's a mini dub. I know you weren't asking, but I just thought I'd give you my opinion anyway. Oh, a lot of SPC cards in here. Um, let me have a look at this then. So you, what are you playing in game? Hmm. What do I think of this? I, this is definitely a very interesting squad to say the least. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about Ilicic at centre mid, personally. I see why you've got him, because obviously he's a high-rated red. Uh, let me actually have a look at this card, Ilicic. Uh, it's the 88 version, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about him at centre mid. I mean, six foot three, he's probably going to win a lot of headers. I'm not entirely sure he'd be an amazing centre mid. How many coins do you say you had again? You have 200k to spend, and you need a centre mid that will get full chemistry here. I would say grind the hell out of uh, the seasonal objectives and get that Milinkovic-Savic, if you're not already. Um, I don't know if you had that planned or not, but I would say get that Milinkovic-Savic from uh, season objectives. That, in my opinion, would be a fantastic option. <clears throat> it would allow you to then, uh, it'd allow you to then um, have a better centre mid. Uh, it's all a bit more defensive, but a really good, well-rounded centre mid. Uh, I really like the future stars in this team. I like that you're using Smaldini. I think he's fantastic. I actually really like Smaldini. I would put a shadow on him though, or an anchor. I'd increase his pace a little bit. I think he needs it. Uh, I like the right side. I like the, I like this team a lot, actually. I genuinely really like this team. I'd say just try and get that Milinkovic Savage from uh, Seasonal Objectives, mate. Apart from that, I wouldn't change a thing in this team. I think this team's really good. Just upgrade players when you can. For example, upgrading Ima Bile to the likes of... If, you, if you're looking down the Italian route... Uh, maybe a Christian Vieri's prime card at some point, maybe a Del Piero at some point, something like that. Um, if that's what you're looking for, if not, then then maybe if we get like an Ebris flashback card or something, maybe upgrade to Ebro or something. Apart from that, though, I really like the team a lot, to be honest. Um, next is coming from Addison, who says, Hey, Ryan. Ryan, that's my new name. I play 4 3 3 attacking game, and I don't change everyone on the bench. Uh, Either, uh, sorry, I don't change. Everyone on the bench is either untradeable or loan. And I've recently changed Pepe and got in for 87 Mares. Keep up the good work. Uh, do I need to change anything in your opinion? I've got 10k. Yes, you definitely do. This team is ridiculously attacking for such a slow defense. Um, Tagliafico's normal card's got like 81 pace or something. It's not fast enough for a left back. Your two centre backs definitely don't have enough pace to, to mop up what your centre mids are leaking. Uh, Cancelo's good. I'll give you that. Cancelo's decent. 
Uh, what I would say with this team, mate, is I would save up everything you can to try and get yourself pacier centre-backs. I would replace at least Ozil with maybe a Fabinho or someone more defensive. If you can save up to get a Kante as well, I'd go with Kante. Um, and then I'd probably work on uh, eventually, when you finally get to the point where you've upgraded the defence and midfield, I'd work on getting rid of Vardy for someone else as well. I think that this is really, really tacking and it's going to leak goals, unfortunately. You're going to find yourself against someone with one depth overload ball side and the counter-attacks are just going to absolutely destroy you, unfortunately. That is a problem with this team. Um, everything else, though, I mean, like, like, you know, I like the use of special cards and things like that. But yeah, unfortunately, it's just not quite there, mate. Um, next one coming from Josh Brand, who says, uh, 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 Hey, Ryan, I have 200k after I buy Telemans. The whole team, including the bench, is untradeable. Let's have a look. Ooh, okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. What do I think of this team, then? This is a very interesting squad. I will say that. Very interesting squad. I mean, looking at it, you could get Furla Mendy. You could get uh, the, the the other Mendy at left back, and he gets full chemistry. Same with everyone else. You don't you don't need uh, Ben Mendy. You can get Furland. Um, I think that's the first thing I would do is get Furla Mendy at left back. Uh, what else would I do? Tielemans at Cam is not the play. Tielemans, in my opinion, is not a Cam. Looking at this card, uh, let me have a look. Tielemans. I don't think this card would be a very good Cam to be honest. I mean, four-star skills, five-star weak foot is good. Don't get me wrong. 77 agility is not great. His pace is not great. Decent shooting. Yeah, but he's defending. Like, he's a CDM in my opinion. He's he's definitely a CDM. Um, what I would say, instead of getting Telemans, maybe getting yourself... Hmm. Who could you get Cam if you, if you had 500k to work with? I like Hadji a lot this year. Hadji is a player that I really like. Let me have a look what what versions of Hadji you can afford with 500k. Can you afford his prime? Not quite. If you saved up a little bit, you could. You could afford this card if you saved up a little bit. However, I mean, maybe this card's a better option. I'm a big fan of this card this year. I think he's really good, especially as a right wide cam putting in on his left foot with the finesse shots and stuff, I think would work really well with this team. So I would say don't buy Telemann to get yourself Hadji, mate. Uh, apart from that, I think the rest of the team is really nice. It's well built. The next team is coming from uh, Ahmad, who says, Hey, mate, this is my team. I've got 12k coins, which isn't great, I know, but everyone is untradeable except Havertz, Guerrero, Neto. The first team is the normal team. The second team is in game. Keep with the good work, mate. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. And for some reason, it's super blurry. I hate when it does that for some reason. Uh, the second picture is fine, but for some reason, the first one's super blurry. Um, let me have a look. So this is what you play in game. I mean, this is definitely uh, an interesting squad. I like that you've got that Draxler. That is a card I never, I've never, i never played against. Never in my life have I played against that Draxler. And I never see it ever. McKenney at centre-back, though? Don't know about that. Not, not entirely sure about McKenney at centre-back. Let me have a look at that card real quick. I mean, good defending. Good, sorry, good defending. Uh, good physical. Medium, medium work rates. Three star, three stars, not bad. Uh, not the worst dribbling in the world. I mean, actually, to be fair, that card wouldn't be terrible at centre-back. I kind of see why you've gone with that now. That card would not be terrible at centre-back. Uh, what would I do with this team, though? I kind of like that, actually. I like I like the use of that. I would say... with how Wait, how many coins do you have again? I like the Berry FC badge as well. 12k, okay. So you haven't got many coins to work with right now. I think you've got to work on upgrading that Guerrero. Uh, is he tradable? Uh, everyone is untradeable except Havertz, Guerrero. Okay, so Guerrero's tradable. How much does he go for? Let me see if we can do some magic here real quick. Can't spell him. How much? How do you spell it? Guerrero. How do you... How do you spell that card? Please say he hovered over him. No. I, I, I don't know how to spell his card. I thought it was like that. Is it I? Is it E? It is E. Okay, we've, we've found it in the end. This card's 20... I mean, this card's not bad, but... Okay, so he's 28,000 coins. He's got 76 finishing. That's going to cost you at striker. What I would say is, with the coins you've got, go with a better left mid. Now, I think Coleman would be better at striker than, than this card, personally. Uh, Two-star weak foot as well. This card's definitely going to let you down. I think that you go with this card instead. Um, 
you know, this is the best, I think, option you can afford. Uh, at least he's got, he's got the same finishing, unfortunately, but he's got three-star weak foot. Um, he's a bit faster. He's got a bit better dribbling, in my opinion. I think he's probably a better option. Um, what else would I change in this team? I think I'd keep the rest the same for now. I'd say just sell Guerrero and try and try and get a better option. I don't know who you can afford there, uh, depending on who you can afford. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, I'd uh, I'd get rid of I'd get rid of Guerrero for a better left mid there. Um, there's you know there's different options you can go with. It's just going to be your choice, personal preference, I guess. Uh, Josh sent me a team and he had De Bruyne instead of instead of <laughs> Tielemans. <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. Next one coming from Roy. Uh, I've got 400,000 coins, but I'm willing to save. Raul Sanchez, Williams, Alan, Guardiola, and Edison are untradeable. Love the bits. Can't, thank you, man. Appreciate the, appreciate the support. So, 400,000 coins. First things first, I would say uh, get yourself Varane at right centre back and uh, try and get that play them with Courtois and goal. I think that you go with those two. Um, better options, in my opinion. I would then say upgrade Dalbert to uh, Team of the Year nominee Alexandro. He's a very good card. Uh, and I keep the rest as is for now. The rest is really nice. Uh, I like the team. I like the attack as well. I think the attack's really cool. Um, that Sanchez is one card that I forgot to do, and I'm good that I didn't do it because he looks so good. And I'm good that I didn't do it. But yeah, I'd say Varane over Edem Militao. Um, play them with Courtois over Edison. And then uh, Team of the Year nominee Alexandro over Dalbert, mate. Or go for the SBC Dalbert, whichever one you prefer. The next one coming from Osco who says, Hi, Haber, I've got 1.4 million. Everyone is untradeable. I play the same in game. Thanks, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. And you've got 1.4 mil. Okay. Uh, Delph has got to go straight away. Delph has got to go, my dude. He is uh, he's a big stinker. I would say with 1.4 mil, if you're looking for a midfielder, I mean, you've got a, you've got a big clunky midfielder in Guardiola. Um, if you were, I mean, mm -hmm. I would say, because obviously you need the link to Joe Gomez, uh, I would say maybe go with like a Gerard. I mean, I don't think Gerard would be a... I, th I don't know how much his prime card is, but I don't think Gerard would be a bad midfielder. This card looks like it'd be right at centre mid, to be honest. He's definitely got a really good long shot. Um, you know, his passing's great, good dribbling. Not the fastest, but with a chem style, it definitely works. I mean, you could put on like an engine, for example. Uh, I guess 82 pace, 93 dribbling, 95 passing. Um, I would say, yeah, get Gerard. Get Gerard over Delft, to be honest. Um, I've I just clicked on the wrong thing there. Uh, yeah, I'd say get Gerard over Delft, mate. And then the rest of the team, I'd probably keep the same. It's a nice team. Uh, the next one coming from Sean, who says, Hey, I have around 350k for upgrades. I'm willing to save. Everyone apart from the Porte is untradeable. It's a down on the reserves as a loan. Uh, love the birds keep with the good work. Yeah, that's something I wanted to say a lot as well. If you guys see is a Dan. Vieira, Hullet, players like that, massive icons on the bench. They are 100% loans. The amount of people that in the comments roast people, like, why are you playing with this guy if, if, if you've got like a this icon on the bench? They're, they're definitely loans, all right? They're 100% loans. It's just the way that it works this year. The little loan icons at the bottom of the card, so you can't see it on the bench. So yeah, if you, if you guys see icons on the bench that aren't lay, layman's, for example, or just terrible icons, they're definitely loans. Anyway, um, what do you play in game? If you play this in game, then you've got to change, bro. Things have got to change. Uh, Vardy out straight away. Um, I would get in Kante over Vardy. Uh, and then I would say, instead of playing a 4-2-4, play a 4 triple 2 It allows you a little bit more defensive freedom. Uh, and you feel probably a little bit more comfortable with the ball in, in defense as well. The rest, of the, the rest of it, though, I'd say, I'd just change it in game to a 4 triple 2 And then the rest is pretty decent, to be fair. Uh, I like the attack a lot, actually. That SAR card looks really good. Haven't tried it, but I do want to give it a go. Um, and then we're going to say, for the last of the episode, we're going to go with Fred, who sent me a really, really big one, actually. I like that. Uh, I don't want to show anyone's picture or anyone's name below, uh, just so that people don't feel bad if they missed out. Um, he goes, hi, Haber. I've got two teams for you. Which should I play first is what I have right now. And the second is the team I may want to use. The only tradables are Militao, Alba, and Martial. The rest, including the bench, is untradable. 200k budgets. Anyway, love the vids, bro. Well, thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. So uh, you've got 200k budget. Uh, the only tradables are Militao, Alba, and uh, Martial. Okay. So... Interesting. All right. Um, and then I have two teams for you. Which should I play first? Is what I, what, what I have right now. Second is the team I may want to use. The only okay. So this is the first, and this is the second. This is what you may want to use. Wait, you've got an untradeable Firmino. Damn. Can you like mix and match a little bit? Maybe. Maybe maybe um, 
You know what wouldn't be a bad shout is if you like mixed and matched. What I would say would be a good shout here is bench Adama Traore, play uh, play Dan James at right wing, and then play your in untradeable Firmino at centre mid here, and then Martial up top, Orsic and Dan James as the wide cams, and Firmino is the central cam. Um, and then I, I think that would be way better than than both teams. I think I think that uh, that works really well combined. Because uh, then you get to use some really, really sick players there as well. I Yeah, that's what I would say. I would say kind of like mix and match. Go with um, go with this team. But Adama is a super sub because he's a fantastic super sub off the bench. All such where Adama plays. Uh, Martial up top and then Firmino in that central camp spot. He's got five-star skills now as well, which is really cool. So, uh, yeah, I think I'd go with that, to be honest. And then you've got some sick players on the bench as well to bring on. Uh, so, you know, in that 70th, 80th minute, you've got really good impact super subs if you need them. Apart from that, I think the team is really nice. A big up the Roy Keane at left CDM. Uh, I like the team. I like the rest of it. I like that Nelson Semedo as well. So, thank you all for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are near around here. Thank you all for your epic support, as always. And I'll see you later. Later.